Hey there, welcome to my most recent patch walkthrough. This patch uh, was inspired by the new firmware from Platts uh, on this voice right here of the orange voices, uh, this 3D wave table, wave shaping, whatever it's called. Um, but I really love this voice and it kind of based everything around it. There's only two things happening in this patch, a nice big drone, um, sound coming from the Mini Brute, uh, and then my main lead sound played on the Mini Lab, sent into VCV Rack, and then out to the Mini Brute, um, controlling plats, um, and then FX Aid doing its thing, running some big old reverb across everything. So let's talk about the drone first. The drone is coming from uh, VCL 1 and 2, uh, tuned about a fifth apart, and then just sent out uh, as a drone through the thing right now. Here's VCO 2, two and then 1, and then uh, a good amount of FM in there to get some grip to it. But what's interesting about this voice to give it some movement is I have it being sent through two filters. First, the main one on the Mini Brute, which is being controlled by LFO2 here, um, set to random voltages pretty slowly, controlling that. But then the out of the Mini Brute is being sent up here into the low pass filter of my three sisters, which is also being uh, FM controlled by a sine wave coming out of the pressure track of uh, of my mini brute because I ran out of LFOs. So, given some movement to both of those filters, um, and then I also have uh, my white noise patched into the attenuator one of uh, of the mini brute sent into both of those filters to give some dirt. Which sounds a little bit boring until it's all sent into big old delay and reverb. Play with the resonances. And you get some interesting movements throughout. So that's the drone. The main voice, um, again, I played live over here, uh, and all the information from this is controlling plats. So, uh, the keyboard out is being sent straight into Volt Per Octave, of course, of the plats. Um, and then the normal connection to the ADSR um, is controlling the level of plats, uh, and the AD envelope, uh, along with the velocity of my keyboard, are being mixed together in plats uh, in channel 2 for the AD envelope and channel 3 for the velocity um, that are then controlling the timbre knob of plats here uh, again on one of those new firmware settings all being sent out to my hexagram uh, mixed together so I get something like this The one thing you'll note at the end of my long notes though is I do have a vibrato coming in by sending the gate out uh, into channel one of maths uh, into the input so that it stays high when the gate's high onto a really slow rising wave that then is being sent out um, attenuated a little bit uh, or no rather that that's being the CV um, of my LFO1 that is uh, bending then the pitch of plats. So uh, giving a little vibrato that comes in slowly as this rises. And then I can have fun with the sound by mixing and matching, uh, the, having the volume fade in, or having the AD envelope do different things like send my modulation of the timbre backwards to give it a, a darker sound on this setting.
So there you go. Played with all of that, mix it all together up in the hexagram, my drone and the Platt's voice coming together, all being fed into a nice big ol' uh, delay and reverb from my FX8. So there you go. Enjoy.